Let's take a look how to make a logo made of glass in Firefly. All right, so let's go to Firefly. We're going to go to the aspect ratio, change it to square, content type photo, and scroll down. I'm going to select hyper realistic. Let's go to the concepts and I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to select futuristic and simple. From here, let's go to lighting, select studio light. Let's go to prompt and type in cube with sharp edges made of prism glass isolated on black background and click generate. So these are the first results. I think they are pretty good from the get go. Now you can see the reflection here. You also can make it float. So I'm going to add the prompt right here after the glass. And hopefully the cube is going to be in the air. And perfect. Check this out. These are in the air. Let's go on the left. But we got like three which are floating. This one also has some sparkles in there. So I want to add that too. So I'm going to go here, add sparkles. I'm also going to add glowing and see what happens. I think some of them are actually glowing better. Actually, it adds sparkles. You get like here and here. I'm also going to try to force it a little bit more with. I'm going to go with iridescent glass. Let's see what is going to happen. And I think we got the ultimate versions. This one's actually insanely good, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. So select the image and go to edit and select use as style reference. And let's go back to the prompt, type in text. There you go. Let's scroll up and now we're going to go back to the aspect ratio, change it to widescreen and I'm going to upload the 3D image and I'm going to select the Nike logo with the swoosh and the text. Click open, continue, increase the strength to 100%. If you want to learn how to make the 3D text, I can leave a link in the description with that tutorial as well. Let's scroll down here. We've got the style. I'm going to decrease the strength and visual intensity right now to zero. So we're going to test it that way first and click on generate. And check this out, we get the first results. All right, so it's not that bad, but I'm going to go back to the strength, increase it to 50. Click on generate. And yeah, I did have some good results with 50% strength. Here we go, 50%. Let's go back. And I'm going to keep on generating until I'm going to find something good. We actually got some pretty good results after the second generation. So for example, let's say I like this one. I can go to edit and use a style reference again. Now let's go back, strength on 50, click on generate. And all you need to do is just keep on generating till you find the right results. Now, if you don't like none of them, you can go back to the original cube and generate some more cubes and then start from there. And this was it. Thanks for watching.